Hello and welcome to Freebie Friday number four. Today I'd like to show you how I made these beautiful butterfly cards using the free cover gift on the front of Crafts Beautiful magazine. The kit includes um, some card blanks. They actually put some different pastel colour card blanks in, which is quite nice. A couple of them there. Um, and there's this lovely stamp set, three different shaped butterflies with lots of different layered elements to make up each butterfly and add lots of different colours. Um, a couple more card blanks there. And there are these die cut pieces. I didn't use the labels and tag shapes, I might use them um, another time. I loved these um, partially glittered die cut butterflies. I think those are really pretty. And I'll be using those in a little while. Um, so that's all the pieces that come in in the kit um, and now I'm just having a quick flick through the magazine to get some ideas and inspiration from the design team's cards. There were always lots of different ideas to get you get you started. I quite liked the idea of using the actual packaging to make the card base there and I'm going to be copying that one. So I've, had, I've taken a little time to play with this stamp set to have you see that I've been using that one and not cleaned it off very well. And there are loads of different ways you can use all the different layered elements in this stamp set but this was one of my favourite ways. I've applied a different, a couple of different colours of Distress Ink to the stamp there. And then I'm just using a, a small brush with some plain water to pull some of the colour in towards the centre of, of the butterfly. It's really fun to do. It's like doing proper watercolour without having to be um, a clever artist. <laughs> and now I'm just adding um, some more colour. And you just keep doing that till, till you're happy with the result pulling it out from the centre a little bit there with my water brush and then uh, once I'm happy with it I'm, um, I'm just cleaning off my stamp there <laughs> and fanning the butterfly dry a bit and now I'm going to use my memento ink and leaving the um, stamp in the same place I'm just going over with the black memento ink to give a nice crisp outline and it's that easy really 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 fun to do quite addictive I ended up doing loads and loads of these and didn't even use them all so now I'm going on to the um, second butterfly shape and this time I'm going to go for um, oranges and yellows again using a couple of different shades of distress ink there so you get a nice sort of natural organic effect using my plain water brush again to pull those colours out towards the edges or in towards the middle and then I think I'm going to add another um, another layer of colour a bit deeper colour there a bit more water and you can just keep playing with it until you're happy and I, uh, I enjoyed doing this so much I ended up with a couple of sheets full. I'm going to cut some of them out with dies like that and some of them I'm just going to fussy cut with a little pair of scissors. So here's my first card. I've already cut the, the um, pieces of paper ready. Um, I've fussy cut those two butterflies out and I've got the matching colours of Distress Ink so I can ink around the edges because I don't want those white paper edges to show. Um, so I'm just quickly inking around the edges of uh, both sets of wings there, and I'm using one of the red, one of the card blanks that came in the kit. I've cut a piece of plain cardstock slightly smaller than the card blank, and then a contrasting piece of um, or coordinating piece of pattern paper, and um, which I'm just um, adhering there. And I've and die cut a piece of white card into that scalloped circle shape there and I'm just popping that into my stamping platform and I'm going to stamp one of the sentiments from the kit and I'm just using my black memento ink I just want a plain black sentiment now what I want to do is have the two butterflies uh, looking as if they've just just landed on my on the sentiment on my card 
So I'm just having a little play there to see how I might like to place them. It's always quite difficult to make things look sort of natural and random, isn't it? <laughs> so after having a little bit of a um, play there, I've decided where I want my um, butterfly bodies to go. And I've used those, those two bodies from the stamp set. Ink those up with the black memento ink again. One of the lovely things about using these stamping platforms is that if, you, if it didn't come out quite right, you can just stamp again. Um, so that's that done. Pop all that out of the way, and now I can uh, finish off my card. I'm just using a bit of this um, uh, kind of waste foam from the little from some black foam dots. Quite good when you want to just. Um, raise up a, a larger piece like this and I'm just with my fingers just shaping those butterfly wings curving them out at the top and in at the bottom to make them look um, more natural and that's how I'm going to place them on my card there we go that's the first one done I've used foam dots at the bottom and then uh, little dots of glue at the top and we are again uh, curving that, that bottom wing inwards and the top wing outwards and then I've put a little foam dot on the bottom wing and a dot of glue on the top wing and just finishing off with my um, shimmer pen just gives a nice subtle subtle shimmer to it okay I'm on to my second card now and I've taken another one of the um, card blanks that came with the kit and I've pre-scored it. I've roughly divided that front piece of the card into three. I've not, I've just done it by eye. It's not even, it doesn't really matter. I just wanted kind of rough thirds. And then I've, I'm going to use the die cut butterfly pieces with the, the, the um, semi glittered ones. I've cut a piece of embossed um, cardstock to go on the inside. And these pieces of pattern paper to go on the front. Now I've adhered all of those and what I want to do is stamp the thank you sentiment and um, I want to repeat stamp it all down that um, right hand panel. So my stamping platform is going to come in very handy again using my black memento ink. I'm having to clean up the stamp in between each time because I don't want to end up with a sort of messy shadow. That's my second one. I just keep going like that, repeating the sentiment until the whole panel is filled with the thank you. And now I'm just trying to decide how I want to pair up the die cut pieces for my butterflies. Decisions, decisions. And I'm using a stronger clear glue um, to glue them together. I've just folded up the wings a little bit to, to make them more sort of 3D. And, uh, and I love how this one turned out. I think that looks really cute. So here's my third card and I've already stamped a panel with three butterfly bodies and two sentiments from the kit in between. I'm using one of the card blanks and I've layered up some pattern paper on top. And now I'm just doodling around that, uh, that white piece in the middle with just my black micron pen. So I've um, fussy cut three more pairs of the butterfly wings and inked around the edges and I'm just shaping them in my fingers as I did on the last card. And um, again, adhering them to the card using foam dots and little dots of glue. So that's that one done. On to the next card. This time I'm using some of the packaging which I've cut to fit the front of, of one of the card blanks. Um, so that's nice and easy, nice, quick, easy card. And I've um, used an oval scalloped die cut to cut around one of the um, stamped butterfly images. I've got a piece of ribbon here. This is one of those ones that comes from the inside of blouses and things. It really gets on your nerves, so you end up cutting them out. Save them, you can always use them for stuff like this. So I've wrapped that knotted ribbon around that um, decorative panel on the front of my card. I'm just putting it and I've adhered that front panel. I'm putting a little dog of strong clear glue to make sure the knot stays in place. And again, I'm using some of that kind of waste foam dot foam um, to stick that, that oval panel onto the front of the card. And that's it. Oh, I want to add a sentiment to the inside. Just trimming off those ribbons there. So I'm using some of the scrap white card. I've taken another sentiment from the um, 
um, kit. And I'm just going to stamp that with black ink and then die cut it into a flag shape to go inside the card. So that's that one done. And my last card is going to be an inside shadow box card. I'll include a link below if you want to know how to make one of these. But I've basically, I've got my pieces cut here. Um, so this is the outside piece. I've put some pattern paper on the on what will become the inside and a coordinating pattern paper on what will become the front of the card. And now I'm popping that into my um, stamping platform. And I want to white emboss my um, sentiment on the front here. So I've taken a sentiment from the kit and I'm going to use some sticky clear ink to ink up that stamp. I've, that's my powder tool there. I'm rubbing that over the surface so that we won't get crumbs of white embossing powder everywhere. And then I'm going to just um, cover that with the white embossing powder, tap off the excess and put, put the leftovers back into the pot again. Um, so I've heat set those with my heat gun. And now this is how that inside piece of the shadow box fits into the into the um, outer of the card. As I say, I'll, I'll, I'll include a link with instructions for how to make one of these cards. They are a lot of fun to make. I've got some fussy cut butterflies here and I'm just inking the edges again and deciding how I'm going to place all the butterflies within my frame. And then I'm just um, gluing those gluing those into place. So um, I just need to finish off the assembly of my card now. That's how the whole thing will um, will fit together. I'm just using wet glue now. Uh, just around that back piece of the card. And you can see that I've left the spine part of it unglued. And I've just fold the whole card up and that's how it fits together. And I've just added a couple more butterflies to that sort of outer frame of that kind of porthole affair. So here's all my finished cards. Uh, I made five cards, had a lovely time. I will be using this um, stamp set over and over again. Really, really happy with it. And now there's one last thing to do, which is to add a bit of sparkle with my shimmer pen. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.